Stu Jones here from Florida Power Boat Club, hanging out with all of our fellow friends at Hallover Marine Center here on this beautiful February morning, getting kicked off for the 26th annual Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Who'd have thought we'd have it back to over 100 boats, just like the old days, uh, after 26 years to see it go over 100. There's a reason for that. Has to do with a lot of people wanting to get out to play uh, after a long a COVID curse. It's not gone yet, but it certainly is improving rapidly. Uh, people coming from all over the country to join us today. A big flo flotilla of boats behind, as you can see, uh, all of the leading brands. Boats that would have been at the Miami Boat Show last weekend, but of course that event was canceled due to COVID, as, as well as nine other major boat shows in the country. But we were able to keep a format for the club members that included a boat show this year, Poker Run Village style, at Gilbert's in Key Largo, an entirely open air show. Uh, so we're looking forward to that. All the major uh, manufacturers with their leading new models are going to be on display there so it's going to be an exciting show we're going to get off the docks here at our normal time about 10 30 with a poker cart head down through miami very very windy offshore today uh strong southeast winds uh probably four to five foot seas right now so pretty certain nobody's going to want to go out haul over inlet and get a little bit beat up or wet going to stay on the inside all the way down to biscayne bay go on into grove harbor for another poker card pick up some more boats continue our ride down to Key Largo. The one thing about this event, it's the shortest poker run on Florida Powerboat Club's agenda. Only 60 miles one way. That means once we get to the Florida Keys, we're going to use that as a hub to go and play. So we're going to see day trips all weekend long going to places like Isla Mirada and the Marathon. Everyone wants to get out and enjoy the performance of their boats. So hanging out here, having a coffee with my friends from the Florida Powerboat Club. And uh, we hope you enjoy this video with full coverage of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. Let's go. Before we begin, let's thank our sponsors. Florida Powerboat Club's 2021 series sponsors include Blackwater Boats and their sister company, Deep Impact Boats, along with their exclusive worldwide dealer, Plantation Boat Mart. Midnight Express Power Boats, Mercury Racing Wide Open, Mystic Power Boats, Myco Custom Trailers, Nortec High Performance Boats, Performance Boat Center, and our official prize sponsor, Superior Communications, providing us with Garmin and Icon products as prizes for our Poker Run events. And taking a look at our Miami Boat Show Poker Run official artwork, let's begin by thanking Nortec High Performance Boats, our presenting sponsor, along with Statement Marine. Outer Limits Power Boats, Marine Technology Inc., Legend Marine, Oakdale Yacht Club, Concept Boats, and Seakeeper. And there's the shot that I was blocking. <laughs> David Landsman's brand new 43-foot Midnight Express Mercury Racing 450s. And it looks like uh, Bob and the FPC shuttle is already running back and forth to the hotels. But take a note there, the parking lot at Hallover Marine Center is still quite empty. And the reason for that is, remember, it's just a weekday morning. It's Thursday. And, you know, this is a county lot. And it doesn't really get crowded early in the day. These are people that come to the beach. And the reason I'm telling all you guys this is that, you know, there is one place you can come and it's free to the public. And that is to walk around and check out all the boats as they go in, uh, both at the boat ramp here and also at Hallover Marine Center. So if you come down here on a Thursday or a Friday morning early to watch the poker run leave, that's really the best place to be. Or you could just stand in Hallover Park and watch the boats as they go out towards the inlet. People always ask me, where's the best place to watch the poker run? And this is it because this is the one time that we're all here close together. But once we get out on the waterways, we're gone. You know, there's not really any spectator vantage point once you get out on the waterways if you want to watch a poker run. So Miss Jackie has arranged all of her goodies on the dock here. Einstein's bagels, uh, once again, fresh bagels, coffee, juice, fruit, uh, just basically the goodies that you need to get in your belly to get out on the water. Remember now, we're always going to feed you very well on these poker runs. And we have a big lunch planned at Gilbert's, as always. And, you know, that's only uh, maybe two hours from now. So we don't need to have a huge breakfast because by noon we're going to be having a major buffet lunch at Gilbert's Resort in Key Largo. 
So let's talk a little bit about our video production that you're going to see today and the coming uh, episodes. Remember, this is about a four-day event. Starts on a Thursday, goes through a Sunday, and we're going to have a lot of content. So it's quite possible we're going to go to five and possibly six episodes here uh, as we watch Michael Tandoy test his out-of-control skater off in the distance. Um, so we're going to give you as much coverage so that you can really feel like you're on the poker run. We're going to get you right down here on the docks and be a part of the first card handoff and be a part of the run going south down to the Keys, our second card handoff at Grove Harbor. We're going to try to give you guys the feeling of what it's like to be on a Florida Powerboat Club poker run. And that is truly what our mission here is at the Florida Powerboat Club as we produce this content for our YouTube channel. We really want you guys to just have the best possible experience uh, without actually being here so that it can give you viewers out there the next best thing to being here but really to allow you to plan ahead if you're going to join us one day it doesn't have to be next month it doesn't have to be next year but we at the florida powerboat club want you to understand what it's like to be a part of this florida boating lifestyle and i think that these episodes here on youtube are hopefully going to do just that so along with amazing horsepower and beautiful paint jobs and a wide variety of boats we have plenty of this. That's right. We call it eye candy. And these are the lovely ladies of the Florida Powerboat Club and this particular crew on Team Punch It, uh, Midnight Express 37, Mr. David Carey. He's also the promoter of the Tiki Lee's shootout coming up here in Maryland in July, which we are all going to attend. So as the ladies uh, get their outfits ready and their sunscreen on and the guys tune the motors. Let's just uh, take in the sights and sounds of Hallover Marine Center here on the morning of the first departure of the Miami Boat Show Poker Run. It looks like our poker card girls are ready, but Eric Avila is going to go by without getting his first poker card. Maybe his idea was the camera will get a much better shot of this brand new Concept 4400 powered by Quad Mercury Racing 450s. I think he's right. That's a brand new model, just came out of the shop, and he's going to have it on display at our Gilbert's Poker Run Village. And here's a longtime member who's back after a six-year break. This is Joe Sabo from New Jersey. He's got himself a 2018 MTI 340X. Very, very popular model with the MTI clan, powered by Mercury Racing 400s. He says that his favorite thing about power boating, he loves the water and great friends. He trailered the boat over from Cape Coral, Florida, which is his second home. He spends his summers in New Jersey. And here's a boat that I've been waiting to see in real life. Uh, Sam Nimi and Danny Ayala from Broward Motorsports. Uh, they are the owners and operators of that fantastic motorsports enterprise here from South Florida. But I've been waiting to see this new concept. And I've been following the build on this 4400 as well as the paint and graphics. I think it turned out just spectacular. And now a very special welcome to Don Goins and his crew, Team Blue Heaven. It's a 34-foot Nortec uh, center console, 340 Sport, powered by triple Mercury 300 Verados. Their very first poker run with the club. Welcome uh, to this team, number 55, uh, one of eight Nortecs registered for the run. And, of course, a very special thanks to Nortec High Performance Boats for stepping up to the plate and being our presenting sponsor. And let's say hi now to Michael Tandoy from New York with this out-of-control 40-foot skater. He's been very active with this boat since he launched it first back in November for the Key West Poker Run. Pair of Mercury Racing 860s, probably one of the only skaters in this class running those new Mercury motors. And just a good time now to thank our lovely Marissa and our newcomer to the team, 
lovely Deanna. They look like sisters. Just two of our lovely FPC team that's helping out this weekend. And speaking of lovely, uh, Mikey Boyle has got himself a beautiful first mate for the run. Team X-Cat is a 34-foot Polini 2019 edition. It's powered by Mercury Racing 400s. What's their favorite thing about power boating? All the amazing people that they meet and the places that they go. And another team from New Jersey, and certainly not their first rodeo when it comes to Florida Powerboat Club events. That is Quinn Lamort, Captain Chris at the helm. They've got their friends Dane Wiederhold and Taylor Francisco riding with them on the run this weekend. And the only team that David Carey can outdo is himself because every time he comes to an event, he says, you know what, I'm going to do even better next time. <laughs> you know, for those of you who recall, he attended the Winter Poker Run, which was, you know, about a month earlier, and he brought a nice crew with him. But that was a spontaneous event that he didn't really plan. This is the one he planned. So, I don't know, was there 10 girls on the boat? <laughs> I'm guessing. And once again with uh, Howard Bindit, Team Tatanka, 41-foot Apache, an amazing restoration, and a guy who's gotten very comfortable uh, in this Florida Powerboat Club family doing a lot of runs with us. He's got his buddies Kevin, Jeff, Brian, and Sean on board, all of them from St. Clair, Michigan, and first-timers on a Florida Powerboat Club poker run. And another new team. Let's uh, make a very special welcome to Dave Maloney and his crew. They're part of the Western New York Offshore Powerboat Association running this brand-new 2021 38-foot Renegade. It's an open carbon edition. Triple Mercury Racing 400Rs. Their first time with the Florida Powerboat Club with home base Buffalo, New York. And looks like it's a boys trip this time. And it's two in a row for Vesubio Verrier and it's 32-foot Sonic. Uh, he's from South Miami. Spends a lot of time running around in the Florida Keys with this super cool 32 cat. Very unique design. Take a good look at that custom feature in the back. Making this the ideal platform for raft ups and sandbars. And one of two fountains registered for the run. This is John Herman, came all the way from Connecticut, Team Total Marine. It's a 38-foot fountain center console. It's powered by triple Mercury Racing 450s, and I know for a fact this is one fast ride. And a very special welcome to Blake Perrin, all the way from Texas, uh, Team Hot for Teacher 2, 34-foot Intrepid. Well, that's actually a loner boat from his father, who's my neighbor in Pompano Beach. Blake owns a 38-foot cigarette Top Gun, but it's way back in Texas. Well, Dad, can I borrow the boat for a poker run with Stu this weekend? Sure, Blake, why not? <laughs> I love this story. Well, guys, it's only been about uh, 15 minutes into the show, and we've shown you more beautiful ladies in bikinis than you see in a lifetime. So you're welcome. And this time it's thanks to John Wittenberg Sr. and his lovely wife, Tracy. They always have a beautiful crew on board. Looking good here in this 39-foot cigarette. Team on the rocks, three. Well, that was John Sr., and here comes John Jr. and his 30 Spectre with the lovely first mate, Natalie uh, getting her poker card just a month earlier. It was the other way around. She and Kim were handing out the cards here from the dock at Hallover Marine Center. And they're all the way from California, but doing a great job attending these events. Uh, Brian and Stacy Tapasik, joined by their daughter Candace and her friend Eden, along with John and Carrie Beck. And representing Statement Marine, who's one of our sponsors for this weekend's event, is Dean Palestra, his 38-foot Statement Center Console, powered by Triple Mercury 400Rs. And a very lovely first mate, I might add. And Marissa and Deanna doing a great job of welcoming our teams. And let's say hi to the new team again, Guy Wilson in peer pressure. Uh, he's got a 2017 Sensation 34 CCX center console. And I'm going to give his crew a 10 score here for helping out and not letting that beautiful paint job rub up against the dock. And we're now catching up with uh, Connor Toomey and his team with a wild handoff here to Larry Hill, his uh, substitute first mate, because his wife, Allie, well, she's not on the boat today. And nice to see Rick Davies back from New York after about a two-year absence uh, from the club. This 32 Doug Wright was white before. He took it home and did a complete makeover with this amazing silver paint job. His buddies Wayne, Mike, Donnie, and Sean riding today. Now David Lansman is from Maryland, and he's owned a lot of Midnight Express models before, but this is the brand new Solstice model, 43 foot, with five big Mercury 450s hanging on this transom. 
And our longtime member, George Ariano, has two boats registered for the run. This one is the 32-foot Phantom race boat. It's got a single big block, a full race set up with a canopy, and they are going to race all season, but they used last year on our FPC poker runs to test the boat and get it dialed in. Let's welcome now Travis Weeks from North Carolina. He is showing off his brand new Statement 36-foot Cat powered by Mercury Racing 450s. And this is going to be a big help to Nick Buis, the owner of Statement Marine, who is one of our sponsors and wants all of his newest, latest boats on the event. And so happy to see Tom Archer back after a one-year absence from the club, but this time in a 41-foot skater. He came on this Miami Boat Show run a year earlier in a 38 Baja. He said he had so much fun, he went home, sold the Baja, and immediately bought this skater and started rebuilding it. Congratulations to Tom with Team Laughing Giraffe. She's powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. And another boat that's powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. This is Chris and Shelby Maddenly. Team Never Enough, 2008 Outer Limits, 46-foot limited. And there is lovely Shelby because she just says she just can't get enough of these poker runs. They're all the way from Kentucky, and they say that they love the Florida Powerboat Club. Well, we love you guys, too. And here comes the boat number two of the Ariano crew. This one's the 35-foot DCB as one of his uh, team members jumps on board. This one's got some big power Mercury Racing 1350s. It's equipped with a very custom Ramon Vera two-horsepower stern thruster. And I was very happy to see this Mystic 4400 stay in the club. Uh, club member Mark D. Michelle from Michigan sold it to Robert Lockyer from the UK, who also has a home in Pompano Beach. And there is his wife, Chrissy, getting her card. This is their first official poker run with this new cat. They just made the purchase a few days earlier. So I guess that makes this poker run their shakedown run. And it's Mike and Sarah Howe again, and they have been doing a lot of poker runs, loving this MTI 39. There is lovely Sarah getting her card. And uh, not their first rodeo. They've done so many events with the club. They have the proud distinction of being one of the very, very few club members who actually leave the Florida Keys from their home, then rendezvous with the club here in Miami and do what? Head back to the Florida Keys. Now let's say hi to Ron Paul with his 34-foot Sensation CCX. Altogether, three Sensation center consoles registered for this event. But this is the only one that's got a pair of Mercury Racing. Wait for it. Wait for it. 450 R's. And I just need to make a note to myself, the next time we come down here, we need to have the guy with the push pull keeping the boats from rubbing on the dock. No boats were harmed in the filming of this segment. And it's going to be a big year for Chris Colson in Fluid Friendly. He always brings his wife and his cute little daughter on board. Look at her. She's having the time of her life. They're very active with the club now, getting things kicked off with this event. They plan on Tampa, Orange Beach, and the Key West Poker Run, and yet they're all the way from New Jersey. Let's welcome back Stephen Barker. He's becoming a seasoned pro on these Poker Run events, being in the club now for several years. Really enjoying this 42 Cigarette X powered by Mercury Racing 1100s, one of 10 cigarettes registered for the Miami Boat Show Run. And this Outer Limits is a big departure from the performance V-bottoms and cats that we see from the Rhode Island builder. Buddy Thomas is in this new outboard-powered 41, a super cool boat. We saw it for the very first time at the Miami show just two years earlier. I'm going to have to take five points off, buddy. You let your dude go up there on the front when your hot girlfriend in a black bikini, Nina, was right there. She could have done the deal, and you would have scored a 10. And here's the man, DJ Ceriza, his 38-foot Donzi. Son Alec is going to be his bow bunny this morning, but that's perfectly fine. No points off because, A, it's a family member, and, B, there's no ladies on the boat, so there is, therefore, no party foul for sending a dude up for the card. DJ's been a longtime member of the club, and this Donzi is the fastest 38ZR in the club, next to, of course, Louis Otero, who's got 1075s. And a very special welcome to Raymond Evans with this very classic 1985 35 cigarette mistress. They came all the way from New Jersey. These motors are built up to about 670 horse with Bravo drive. So he's got the boat running over 80 miles per hour.
And of course, it goes without saying that our lovely FPC girls look wonderful today, but so does Jamie Daniels picking up their poker card for Team Kansas. Uh, her husband, Brent Daniels, at the helm. This one's powered by Twin Mercury Racing 900 SCs, and it's three in a row for this 32 skater. Key West, the Winter Poker Run, and now the Miami Run in February. And every once in a while, we see a retired race boat uh, join us for poker runs. This is Irvin Grant, his first run with the club in this Skater 368 full canopy. Not a bad turnout for the Skater family. A total of eight skaters registered for the run. And another very special welcome, their first time on the run, Jimmy Peterson and his first mate in this Formula SS. It's a 40-footer powered by Volvo engines, if you can believe that. Uh, we've got him set up nicely down in Key Largo. He's going to be docked on the backside of Gilbert's and stay in the boat all weekend. And he's even got his Lamborghini registered for the Sunday car show at Gilbert's. And here comes Project 1080. You know what that means, guys? That means it's the last card for the day. In fact, we're not even going to get a card. Instead, we're going to get the card girls. I guess that's even better when you think about it. That's why I love my job. Project 1080 seems to be running pretty good these days. Mercury Racing 540s, fully equipped with all of the necessary hardware, including my wife Jackie and these two lovely FPC girls, Marissa and Deanna, going to ride with us today. And it's that time where we get back in the helicopter and going to start our aerial mission for the day. Uh, Joe Cotrady and Jerry Wysotiki from Avatar Photo on board this R44. Going to be flying with Lewis from Miami Executive Helicopters out of Tamiami today. And the reason for that is the Tamiami Airport is very close to Key Largo. And that makes for a, a quick ferry time to get down to Key Largo to start our photo sessions every morning. And we have also rented a, uh, a floating landing platform for the helicopter that will be positioned at Gilbert's through the weekend. So let's check in on the boaters as we follow them through these Miami waterways. Uh, just remember, it was very rough offshore, so nobody has gone out through the Hallover Pass today, which was really the smart and the safe thing to do. And after all, you know, we've got all day to get to Key Largo. It's only about a 60-mile ride. And we have all these protected waterways that can take us from North Miami all the way to Biscayne Bay. So there's not really any need to run offshore today. There are speed limits on these waterways, uh, and you can see that you know, a lot of the boats are maintaining some pretty good spacing from each other. That's important if you're going to travel on these waterways, especially in a group setting. Uh, you really can't get all bunched up and uh, be you know, going too fast or passing at close range. It's really not safe, and uh, that's something that we're going to pay a lot more attention to uh, this year coming up with the Florida Powerboat Club. And I know some of you are looking down and saying, well, why is everybody going so slow? Well, you look off in the distance, and that was the 79th Street Bridge. Of course, we have to come off plane for all the bridges. So, you know, rather than have any problems, I think everyone is just being smart, slowing down and spacing things out. And, you know, just take your time. There's no real rush to get through Miami. Again, this is the shortest poker run on the FPC roster for the entire year. And to be in a big hurry to get down to Key Largo, it's just not necessary. You can see there's also a lot of other traffic and cruisers in different directions. And this is a good time to just be safe and be very cautious uh, when we get in close quarters. Uh, but above all, enjoy the scenery and just really enjoy this ride through Miami. And now catching up with this Team 151 Express, which is really just getting ready for the race season. This 32 Phantom is a wild ride, and I'm sure these guys are having a blast down there in this cockpit.
And that is one loud Donzi. This 38ZR belongs to Louis Sotero from Miami. It's powered by Mercury Racing 1075s. This boat can rock. And here's another pair of Mercury Racing 1075s, but in a much bigger, heavier boat. Chris Mattingly's uh, 46 Outer Limits. And another Outer Limits that we were happy to keep in the club after all these years that was owned by a gentleman up in the Destin area. He used it on a few of the poker runs with Emerald Coast, but that was about it. Really didn't put a lot of hours on the boat. And along came Chris and Shelby. I'm sure they got a great deal on the boat, and they've been very happy since they got the boat about three years ago, attending several Florida Powerboat Club runs. And here's one of those uh, choking points, if you will, on this intracoastal route uh, through Miami, but no big deal, really. This is the Venetian Causeway, and you know the bridge does have to go up for most of the center consoles. They won't clear the bridge. I think it's only about an eight-foot clearance. Uh, all of the low-profile boats can get through no problem. But the bridge does go up frequently. And if you don't want to wait, you can travel further to the west where there's another Venetian Causeway lift bridge, but it has a much higher clearance. And making our way now through Miami Beach as we catch up with John Wittenberger Sr. and his 39-foot cigarette, Team On The Rocks 3. And if you look closely, that's Miami Beach in the background. But uh, just pay attention to some of the other boats as ooh, we get some nice air there. But did you notice that U.S. Coast Guard boat right there? They are fully aware that we're operating this poker run, and they will leave us alone as long as we behave. So far, so good. Now joining Joe Castellana Jr. in this 388 skater. Got some big power all the way from New Jersey, and very loyal, it appears, uh, to this particular run, the Miami Boat Show run. They like to do it every year, and occasionally they'll join us for the Key West run in November. I'm pretty sure that they have won the best catamaran award in the past, but I think that they're also a contender for the best paint and graphics. I just love the paint scheme on this boat. I kind of like how the pilot is flying a little bit higher than normal for some of these sequences because what it does when he pulls back, you can really get a picture of all the scenery in the backdrop. This time, it's the Port of Miami as we pass by on the south side of the port. Uh, that's government cut way off in the distance. Of course, none of us have come through the government cut. We're just uh, connecting there from the ICW. And of course, that is the landmark Fisher Island over to the right side of your screen. Gotta love the sound of this Donzi 38 ZR. Darius has had everything done to these Mercury Racing 525s. They're probably at close to 800 horsepower now. And a big introduction now to Jesse and Stephanie Newman, all the way from Minnesota, and very proudly displaying their brand new Nortec 500 Sport, which is going to be a showstopper at this event and, of course, at the Poker Run Village Boat Show at Gilbert's. Powered by five Mercury Racing 450Rs. Plenty of room for all your family and friends. You don't have to leave anybody at the dock if you have this boat. And if you know Jesse and Stephanie, well, they have a lot of friends and they like to bring everybody with them. And I think it was a natural progression for this couple to move into the 50 because they had a 390 before and then they had a 450. And so naturally to move into this 50 foot center console was the next move to make. And it looks like the ladies are just having a wonderful ride today as they cruise through the Port of Miami uh, getting ready for a nice run on the open waters of Biscayne Bay. Well, guys, I can't think of a better place to wind up this episode. We just passed the 30-minute mark, so let us thank Nortec High Performance Boats for coming on as our presenting sponsor for this Miami Boat Show Poker Run, which has an entirely new format 
and we're about to show you that because we've got several episodes on deck for all of our viewers here on YouTube. Thanks to you guys, we've already hit that magical 33,000 subscribers here on our channel. So please tell all your friends to subscribe to our channel and be sure to hit that notification bell so you'll get all of the updates every time a new episode is released. Be sure to check out the website at flpowerboat.com for all of the details about upcoming Poker Run events in 2021 as well as membership information. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club and you can follow us on Twitter and on these Instagram pages. Thanks to all of our viewers uh, for your wonderful comments on our page and you guys know who you are and I really do appreciate that. But if you have questions or comments you want to direct to me specifically, please use my personal email at stu at flpowerboat.com. I check that daily and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. We have got a fantastic year planned for 2021 with members of the Florida Powerboat Club. So stay with us. Meanwhile, we're going to sign off for now. This is Stu Jones along with our producer, Ryan McCoy, in the Pompano Beach studio. Have fun out there, guys. Be safe on the waterways. Wear your life jackets when the time is right. And always respect your fellow boaters. Bye for now.